Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to work on a little bit of a new or different shape for me today. Well, nothing's new in pottery, as you guys know, but uh, I'm going to work on a, a different shape for myself. Uh, shape uh, for myself, uh, more of like uh, I guess people will call it a, a moon jar or a moon vase. Uh, so I'm going to work on that something really bulbous uh, with a smaller, narrower top, and uh, kind of see how things go. So I got about four pounds of clay here, and we're going to uh, work with that on making it. I'm going to do as, as much as I can as well without using a throwing stick. Uh, something I'm not against using a throwing stick, but I'm not as comfortable using it. So, um, we're just going to see how much we can get done, how much shape we can get without actually using a throwing stick to uh, do the shape. So I'm still going to start by pulling this uh, mainly up and in, leave, uh, but leave the walls a little bit thicker so I can do most of the shaping and the uh, pushing out once I've, uh, once I've got the shape pulled up. Still definitely going to try to leave some thickness in the top there be able to bring the top of the form back in once I'm finished shaping the bottom. That last pull there, I decided to go ahead and start, kind of pull out with it from there to start the shaping process. From here on out, I'm probably going to use my rib in my right hand. Anytime I'm shaping, especially making something really bulbous, kind of start out by kind of getting the basic shape going, making it kind of an even curve all the way up and down, um, kind of starts, and then you can kind of see from that point where you, where you need to push more with more pressure and where, where you need to push out with less pressure. I'm going to go ahead and form a foot on the bottom before I make the shape as well. That way that's already done when I finish the shape.
as you can see there, I've just been gradually pushing out, going up, and then kind of working my way back down. Do it again, going up, and then on the way back down. Just kind of helps each direction you go, helps kind of form different parts of the, the belly. And kind of also keeps working on stretching that little at a time to get the, to get the form that you want. I know it may be difficult to learn, but as you can see, I've added no water. I cleaned out the bottom uh, before I started shaping, and I've added no water since then. It's something that really helps with a shape, with a form like this, uh, is to not add much water so that you can keep shaping and you're not introducing extra water that will soften the clay and make it weak. One thing I do as I'm bringing in the neck or working on a shoulder of a piece is I'll bring it in a little bit as you saw right there and then I'll, I'll go back and reshape that shoulder. What I'm doing there is keeping it in check but I'm also keeping it from getting a sharp point where it may be bending too much, too sharply that would make it weak. A little bit of wobbling or buckling starting to show up there but I can I can then pull that in and cut that off and then continue to pull it to, to narrow that down. Alright, before I close that in too much more, I'm going to Go back one more time, make sure I've got a, a good shape right here. That's kind of the key to, if you're not going to use a throwing stick or don't have one, the key to that is make sure you have the shape that you want finished before you close in that neck too far that you can't get back down in there. Once again, I got a little bit of a wobble shoved back up just in that top. I'm going to cut that off just, just a, one last time. Not too much of one there, but it's enough that with, with the round and kind of really symmetrical shape that the, the bottom has, if there was that little bit of wobble on the top, it would be very noticeable.
Still got a little bit of a bump right there. I'm gonna smooth out. Not much at all, but just enough to throw it off. So let's take that off and lift it up and take a look at it. I like it. That's really round. I love the the shape uh, from the from the foot going up. How how bulbous it gets there to bring it in and, and kind of do the inverse of that. A very uh, very small proportion though on the on the top there. Um, I definitely think I'll, I'll do some more of that and have some fun playing around with that shape and it gives me a lot of neat surface to work with with uh, glaze interactions and maybe even some slip decoration um, all kind of things you could do with that surface and uh, so there you go hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions or uh, if you guys have any input on the videos you'd like to see uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, uh, and ask or comment any of those things that you'd like and uh, we'll see you next time thanks